Imagine juggling three balls, work, personal life and health. Suddenly, more balls are thrown at you. That's what stress feels like. Picture it as a juggler on a tightrope, constantly trying to keep balance while handling more than can be managed. But what is stress really? It's not merely an emotion or a state of mind. Stress is your brain's way of responding to any demand or threat. It's like an alarm system kicking into gear when you perceive danger. From an evolutionary perspective, this fight or flight response served our ancestors well, preparing them to either confront or flee from threats. However, in our modern world, this response is often activated by non-life-threatening situations, a looming deadline, a difficult conversation, or even a traffic jam. And this is where stress starts to complicate our lives. So remember, stress is not merely a feeling. It is your brain's response to any demand or threat. When you perceive a threat, your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA axis is activated. This sophisticated system is like the master control center of your stress response. It's a complex set of interactions among three key regions in your body. The hypothalamus and pituitary gland in your brain and the adrenal glands perched atop your kidneys. Now let's break this down. When you're stressed, the hypothalamus, a small region at the base of your brain, gets the ball rolling. It sends a signal to the pituitary gland, a pea-sized structure that's often called the master gland of the body. The pituitary gland then releases a hormone called adrenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH for short. ACH is like a relay runner. It takes the baton from the pituitary gland and passes it on to the adrenal glands. These glands respond by producing a cascade of hormones, including one we're all familiar with, cortisol. Cortisol, known as the stress hormone, prepares your body for a fight or flight response. It increases your heart rate, accelerates your breathing and primes your muscles for action. But it's not just cortisol. The adrenal glands also release adrenaline, another key player in the stress response. Adrenaline boosts your energy supply by increasing your heart rate and blood pressure, further preparing your body to react to the perceived threat. All these physiological changes are part of a well-orchestrated response designed to help you survive in the face of danger. It's like your body's very own emergency response team, ready to jump into action at a moment's notice. However, this system was designed for short-term immediate threats, like running away from a saber-toothed tiger, not for the chronic ongoing stress that many of us experience in our modern lives. When this system is activated time and time again, it can put a lot of wear and tear on your body. The stress hormones that were once life-saving begin to wreak havoc when they flood your system for too long. They can disrupt sleep, increase blood pressure, and over time contribute to the development of health problems like heart disease and diabetes. While beneficial in short bursts, this response can become detrimental when chronically activated. The sympathetic nervous system activates the fight or flight response. It's like the ignition switch that revs up your body's engine in response to perceived threats. It commands your heart to beat faster, your breath to quicken, your muscles to tense up, all ready for immediate action. But there's another side of the coin, the parasympathetic nervous system. This is the calming counterpart to the sympathetic system. It's like a soothing hand, slowing your heart rate, easing your breath and relaxing your muscles. It promotes the rest and digest state that allows your body to recuperate and rebuild. These two systems, the sympathetic and parasympathetic, should work in harmony, like a perfectly choreographed dance, balancing action with rest. But chronic stress can disrupt this dance. It keeps the sympathetic system in overdrive while muffling the parasympathetic system. The result? A body perpetually braced for battle, with little time for repair and recovery. Chronic stress can skew this balance, leading to prolonged physiological stress responses and reduced recovery times. Chronic activation of the stress response can adversely affect nearly every organ system. Let's take a closer look at what this means. When we're constantly in a state of stress, our bodies are constantly on high alert. This sustained state of readiness keeps our stress hormones like cortisol at elevated levels. This is where the real trouble starts. Cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, is essential for our survival. It plays a pivotal role in our body's fight or flight response. But when we're chronically stressed, our bodies are flooded with cortisol, disrupting normal bodily functions. The immune system is particularly vulnerable to the effects of chronic stress. High cortisol levels suppress the immune system's responses, 
making us more susceptible to infections and diseases. Not only do we become more prone to catching a cold or the flu, but chronic stress also increases our risk of developing more serious health conditions such as heart disease and diabetes. But the effects of chronic stress don't stop at our immune system. It also takes a toll on our digestive system. Cortisol changes the way our bodies process and store fat, leading to weight gain and, in some cases, obesity. It also suppresses appetite in the short term, but chronic stress can lead to increased hunger and cravings for unhealthy foods. Chronic stress also impacts our reproductive system. In women, chronic stress can lead to irregular menstrual cycles, reduced sexual desire and fertility problems. In men, it can lead to impotence and lower sperm count. Our growth processes are not spared either. High cortisol levels slow down the body's growth processes and can lead to conditions like osteoporosis. As you can see, the effects of chronic stress are far-reaching and can impact nearly every aspect of our health. It's a silent assailant that slowly but surely wreaks havoc on our bodies. That's why it's so crucial to understand and manage stress effectively. It's not just about feeling better mentally, it's about safeguarding our physical health as well. Prolonged exposure to cortisol dampens immune system responses and can lead to chronic illnesses. Let's remember, managing stress isn't just about preserving our peace of mind. It's a matter of life and health. The endocrine system's interaction with stress is mediated through hormone regulation. This system, a network of glands and hormones, plays a crucial role in maintaining our body's balance or homeostasis. However, when the stress response is activated too frequently or for extended periods, this balance can be disrupted. Chronic stress can cause the adrenal glands, which produce our stress hormones, to go into overdrive. Over time, this can lead to conditions like adrenal fatigue. In this state, the adrenal glands can no longer keep up with the constant demand for stress hormones, particularly cortisol, so they start to slow down producing less cortisol than the body needs to function optimally. This can lead to symptoms such as fatigue, difficulty concentrating and weakened immunity. This imbalance where cortisol levels are either too high or too low disrupts homeostasis. Continuous stress can disrupt homeostasis leading to cortisol levels that are too high or too low. Long-term stress can also affect neurotransmission systems. This is where our journey into the psychological impacts of stress begins. You see, chronic stress can have profound effects on the brain. When we're under stress, our bodies release a cocktail of hormones including cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones prepare us for immediate action. But when this response is constantly triggered, it can lead to alterations in the delicate balance of chemicals in our brain. One of the key players in this chemical symphony is serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps regulate mood, sleep, appetite and cognition. Chronic stress can reduce the production of serotonin, tipping the scales and potentially leading to mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. Similarly, dopamine, another neurotransmitter that influences pleasure, motivation and motor control can also be affected. Reduced dopamine levels can lead to feelings of apathy, lack of motivation and in severe cases, movement disorders. But the effects of chronic stress extend beyond neurotransmitters. Our brains are remarkably plastic they can change and adapt based on our experiences. This is known as brain plasticity. However, chronic stress can alter this brain plasticity, leading to changes in the structure and function of our neurons, the building blocks of our brain. One of the areas most sensitive to these changes is the hippocampus, a region involved in learning and memory. Chronic stress can shrink the hippocampus, potentially leading to cognitive deficits and memory problems. The prefrontal cortex, a region involved in decision-making and emotional regulation, is another area that can be significantly affected. These changes can have real-world consequences. They can impact our ability to think clearly, make decisions, and regulate our emotions. They can also increase our susceptibility to mental health disorders and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. In conclusion, chronic stress is not just a physical phenomenon. It can reach deep into our minds, altering the very fabric of our brains. Chronic stress can lead to changes in neuronal structure and function, particularly in areas associated with memory and emotional regulation. This underscores the importance of managing stress effectively and preserving our mental health. Effective stress management involves recognizing its sources 
and its profound effects on the body and mind. So, how do we combat this seemingly omnipresent force? One powerful tool at our disposal is the 478 breathing method. This technique is as simple as it sounds. Breathe in for a count of four, hold your breath for a count of seven, and then exhale for a count of eight. This rhythmical breathing not only helps to calm the mind, but it also has a profound effect on the body. It slows the heart rate, reduces blood pressure, and enhances the parasympathetic response, which is the body's natural relaxation response. By practicing this method daily, you're promoting balance between your sympathetic and parasympathetic systems, fostering a sense of calm and control amidst the storm of stress. An excellent technique for countering the physical symptoms of stress is the 478 breathing method, which enhances the parasympathetic response.